Hello kids, welcome to our class. Today, we're gonna see a new story. This is the story of Silver Civet. You can use your pace of word building or animal science. One day, Silver Civet was in the clearing in the woods near his home. Suddenly, Silver Civet saw two large, shiny eyes looking at him through the trees. Silver Civet was scared. Silver Civet began to imagine how huge a creature must be that would have eyes that big. Silver Civet was so frightened that he swiftly ran through the woods to his safe home. Mama, mama, I have just seen a pair of large, scary eyes, said Silver Civet excitedly. Where did you see these scary eyes? asked Mama Civet. In the woods, replied Silver Civet. Oh, Mama, they were such big eyes. I was terribly afraid, said Silver Civet. I have never seen such a large pair of eyes in the woods before. Did the creature hurt or chase you, Silver Civet? asked Mama Civet. No, Mama, said Silver Civet. It didn't hurt or chase me, but I was so scared. You have nothing to fear, Silver Civet, said his mother. Those scary eyes are probably the eyes of some friendly creature. It is probably more afraid of you than you are frightened of it. Come, Silver Civet, let's walk around the trees and perhaps we will see this creature. Mama Civet and Silver Civet walk all around the trees in a wide circle. You see, Silver Civet, there is nothing here that shall make you afraid said Mama Civet. For just a second, Silver Civet saw the big eyes again, but then they disappeared. There was a little flutter of sound, just like a little creature flying away. What happened, Mama? Well, it seems that the, this creature with the large, scary eyes does not like for us to see it, explained Mama Civet. Mama Civet could see that Silver Civet was still concerned about this strange creature. Silver Civet, I really think this creature is afraid of us. I will tell you what we will do. Every once in a while, we will walk around near the trees. I think the creature will leave when it sees us. Silver Civet still thought about those huge scary eyes, but Silver Civet wasn't afraid as long as Mama Civet was there. Silver Civet always failed safe when he was with Daddy or Mama Civet. Later that day, Mama Civet said, Silver Civet, I need you to help me. I have to go away to visit a sick Civet friend. I will only be gone for a short while. Will you watch your little brothers and sisters? Yes, replied Silver Civet. I will be glad to watch the little Civets for you. Thank you very much, said Mama Civet. You surely are a big help to Daddy Civet and me. Don't be afraid of the creature with those big scary eyes. Be brave and watch the little civets carefully. Remember, if you walk around near the trees, the creature will live. Be brave and don't quit. I will, Mama, said Silver Civet. I will be brave and take good care of the little civets. I won't quit. After Mama Civet left for her visit to see her sick civet friend, the little civets were playing excitedly in the sweet-smelling grass around the big cedar tree. Silver Civet heard a strange noise coming from the woods. Oh no, it might be the creature with those big scary eyes, thought Silver Civet. I will not be afraid. I must not quit. I must be brave. Silver Civet walked boldly around the big cedar tree to show the creature with the scary eyes that Silver Civet was not afraid. Suddenly, there was a sound of swishing and flapping of winds from the shadows around the trees. Silver Civet felt frightened, but he remembered what Mama Civet had told him. Be brave, don't quit. Silver Civet must be brave. Silver Civet heard sounds as the scary eyes began to move. Suddenly, an owl flew from the shadows of the trees. It had the biggest eyes Silver Civet had ever seen. Oh, look, said Silver Civet. It was only an owl. It will not hurt us. It was not long before Mama Civet returned from her visit to her sick Civet friend. 
Well, Silver Civet, did you do your job without quitting? said Mama Civet. I became frightened, said Silver Civet, but I remember what you told me. I remember not to quit, said Silver Civet excitedly. This is good, Silver Civet. I am very happy that you remember not to quit. You were brave. I am so glad that Daddy Civet and I have such a brave and diligent Civet as you, said Mama Civet happily. On your piece of animal science on page 6, color the picture. On page 7, with a red crayon, follow the arrows and trace a circle. 1, circle 2, and circle 3. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to like and subscribe!